Through a Scottish Prism, the programme that is unapologetically pro-Scottish independence and anti western Even having attended every day of the Assange hearings, um, I've never seen a court that hostile or the judges that obviously hostile. And, you know, my QC was Roddy Dunlop, the Dean of Faculty, who's enormously respected. Um, but there was a wee delay at the start of your appeal, was there not? That was kind of bizarre too. Yeah, that was very peculiar um, because my appeal was meant to start at 10.30. And I turned up at 10.30, was told to go away and come back at 11.30. Um, so I came back at 11.30 and the uh, Lord Justice General, uh, Lord Carloway, um, apologised to the court and said that they'd had a, an unscheduled urgent meeting with a cabinet minister who had dashed to see them. Now, we touched on it, you touched on it briefly, was the two Russian provinces, the main one being Donbass. Because um, so, I don't think many of our, our viewers and many, in fact, the general British public in total will know or have heard much about this civil war that's been going on for eight years. And um, something like 14,000 ethnic Russians have been killed by Ukrainian troops and insurgents, etc. Um, and that is, the, if you like, the excuse or the reason that they put in use to make his move. And remember, mm -hmm. Kosovo involved much wider bombings of Serbia. In fact, Kosovo involved NATO inflicting far more bombing and far more deaths on Serbia than Russia has so far, so far done on, on, on Ukraine. And it's oh, yeah, but we're the good guys, Craig. We're the good guys. We're yeah, we're, we're, we're allowed to kill civilians because yeah, uh, yeah. we do it with a good heart. And, and I feel in many ways the Ukrainians have been used um, as proxies by NATO in the West, the Americans. And NATO, in my opinion, just my opinion, is used as just a, an extension of American foreign policy. And Americans' foreign policy, as you've indicated, is to move nearer and more east. And I would say in America, if the, if the Russians were putting bases, again, going back to the Cuban Missile Crisis, putting missiles in bases in Canada and Mexico and Brazil and Argentina and, um, you know, and Haiti and all these sort of things. The Americans would be going tonto. And I think the reality is America or its economy is addicted to war. The hypocrisy in all this, and, and Yvonne's touched on it, you know, you know when, when we go into Libya or Afghanistan, Iraq, or where we stand back and we support Israel, well, it steals and annexes territory of the Palestinians or the Syrians. Um, it's really hypocritical of us to then say, oh, bad Russia, you can't annex land and you can't steal people's land and go in without, a, you know, with, with no good reason, because that's exactly what the West and NATO have done um, and tolerated allowing um, Israel to run a mock, run a mock uh, in the Middle East. Does the hypocrisy annoy you, or am I am I am I wrong? No, no, you're hundred percent right. The uh, everybody's touched on it, and it's already been said. We, our media, and look who owns our media, are cheerleading um, aggression. Uh, but it's like it's it's so it's like very base propaganda. It's like kill this. These are complex issues. But one thing, if you want to understand what this is about, just Google oil and gas pipelines that go through Ukraine. Just, just Google it. I mean, don't, don't even worry about any of the shit you're hearing. But to see Scotland's first minister fall in line behind the Union flag and uh, praise NATO and and join in the gung ho attitude shown by um, her counterpart in London. I mean, if. The British Prime Minister is America's poodle. What on earth does that make Nicola Sturgeon? Because she is, you know, a, 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 another smaller lapdog to the British poodle. It was awful. Stuart MacDonald, Alan Smith and Nicola Sturgeon, the First Minister, say the solution to it is to take Alex off of our TV. That's the solution. That's the big problem. It was embarrassing. It was stupid. Um, and uh, fortunately, Alec um, sidestepped him and was more of the diplomat and uh, the name. But it was kind of embarrassing, was it not? Yeah, it's the snide. And it's um, it's just it's repeating, it's, it's repeating itself. And it is embarrassed. They should be embarrassed. It's wrong, completely wrong.